I'm Sam Chavon, I'm a math major here at Amherst. The title is Cloaking and Invisibility. It's about a, one particular process that may um, make cloaking possible, may make making an object invisible to visible light impossible. Recently this problem has been mainly an engineering problem in that it's been difficult to find the kind of materials that possess the right properties for, to, to create a cloak. Um, so essentially we just want to make a given object look as small as we want and we just sort of want to divert the light around it. Sort of um, an, a metaphor that's been used is like uh, water running around a smooth stone. I mean, I think the main surprising conclusion is that cloaking seems to be possible and maybe a cloak will be designed in the near future. Um, so, I mean, this sort of sends us into the realm of science fiction and, as you, as you said, Harry Potter novels. So, it's, I mean, that's the main surprising conclusion. That this appears to be feasible. A math thesis is, um, first of all, uh, um, a, it is a written document. It's uh, capped at 50 pages, so it has to be very dense, very condensed. Um, and there are, I mean, there's a certain, especially in mind, there's a certain amount of intuitive background that one must give, and then there's also the very, you know, very rigorous theorem proof style, style writing that needs to go on as well. Um, in addition to the, the written work, there's also a presentation followed by a defense in front of the math department faculty. My thesis advisor was Professor Tanya Lisey. She's an applied mathematician. I sort of started with her, her paper as an introduction to the, to the area and then progressed and looked at different sources that provided more, um, provided different ideas and more advanced approaches, more detailed approaches. It took the entire year. I, I spent most of first semester just researching and um, reading lots of, lots of papers and looking up things in many, many books. And then uh, I, started, I started writing, I began writing um, at the beginning of this semester but didn't really get into it till near the end in, in April. Doing something independently is something that as a student we don't do a lot, at least in my opinion. Independent projects are sort of beyond the scope of most classes you're usually sticking to coursework. And so I think doing independent research is really valuable to, to an overall education, just because you have to be self-motivated despite the fact that you have an advisor. Um, the motivation has to come from you, and you have to be able to pursue the research independently. I think it's really important to be very, very interested in the topic that you're researching. This is something that you're going to have to stick with the entire year keep uh, an open mind about what the thesis is going to be about and then in the end sort of narrow down and focus upon one topic in particular. Despite the fact that I'm a math major, I've taken lots of courses in the music department and in the French department um, and I studied abroad in France my, the fall of my junior year and I, I really enjoyed my time there so I'll, I'm, I was hoping to get back there and now I have the opportunity to go back. Next year I'll be teaching English in France.